Hey everybody, I hope you got through your night safe and made it through your morning feeling motivated, encouraged, optimistic, enthusiastic, inspired, pop, positive love from above. Another day, another way. Feel any way about yourself. You need to reevaluate your circumstances, understand where you're at in life, and make a change. You have a choice to make a change. Now, today I'm in the barbershop. It's not that busy. I had a few people come in, cut a few heads, but I got other things I could be doing as well. I can be reading a new book, learning some new things, um, looking up some new words, researching some new ideas, thoughts, processes, situations. There's always something to do. But everybody's at home talking about, I got off today, the kids got off today, so I gotta stay home. Hurricane Dorian came through and God bless the ones that are going through it. Unfortunately, they had to go through a little bit more than Central Florida had to. There's not much rain out here, there's nothing. It's cloudy, it rained a little bit, but technically, really the sun's shining to be honest with you. Um, like I said, it's a little breezy, a little windy out, but it's nothing we can't handle. Um, I can is not in a man and woman's vocabulary, by the way. It's not something we're not able to handle. So. What I don't understand is people complain in this world that they don't have enough of this, that they need a few more dollars, that they don't have enough money, that they're broke. I don't like saying broke. You know, Les Brown said this, we're overcoming a, finan a financial difficulty. Never say you're broke. Don't speak that into your life. Overcoming a financial difficulty. Always remember that. Now, Earl Nightingale said, what is the meaning of success? And I agree with this tenfold. The progressive, progressive realization of a worthy idea. But how can you progress if you're not realizing what it is that you can do, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, where you're going to do it, with whom you're going to do it with, if anyone? How do you progress? You gotta find a new skill. How do you find a new skill? You gotta figure out what you wanna do. How do you figure out what you wanna do? Maybe you need to meditate and pray on it. Well, if there's 50, 10 other things you wanna do, go do all of them one at a time. Take your time. Every door will open along its path and you'll figure out so many other things along you building yourself. You know, everybody has a gift, as I continually say. Our gift is our passion. A gift is inherent. It's already inside you. It's what you need to know. But if you don't go chase it, if you don't go after it, if you don't go searching and destroying for it, you're not gonna figure out what that gift is. Your gift is your passion. That passion can make you love what you wanna do. Instead of being at that job, going through certain situations, thoughts, processes that you do not like. That passion is your purpose. Now your purpose in life, you start loving life because why? Your passion turns into your purpose and your purpose turns into your power. Everything works accordingly. There's a time for everything. Time waits for no man. Um, you gotta understand what you need to be in this world to do what you need to do in this world, you know? But the only way any of this is gonna change as I previously stated, you gotta change your attitude, your aptitude, and your altitude automatically changes. But at the end of the day, nobody's gonna do something you can do for yourself. Nobody's gonna do something for you that you can do for yourself. No one cares about you more than you. So if you don't get these things done, people pat you on the back, say good job, at least you try, not good enough. You gotta keep moving forward, try harder. If you can't find a way, make a way. It's as simple as that, that's the way things work. Um, opportunities are out there opportunities in life are abundant resources are abundant networking is abundant people are abundant find people that are your vibe brings your tribe find people that can accommodate your ideas your way of life your thoughts your processes your situations what you're trying to go don't go through it grow through it do what you're meant to be do what you're meant to do be more powerful than you've already been so you can figure out what life is really about. You know, life has its ups and downs, its curveballs, roadblocks, speed bumps, you know, adversities, adversaries, but that's life. Suck it up. Stop complaining, stop crying, stop talking about what was, because your past cannot change your future. You can reflect on what you did, your failures, your hardships, ups and downs, whatever you want to call them. You can reflect on it, but do not ponder on it continually daily always bringing it up because you'll get nowhere you'll do nothing and uh it'll hold you back really because it's a mental thing control your mind your mind is the strongest thing you have the body has limitations the mind does not but if the mind isn't ready the body's never physically prepared so you got to understand what your worth is but you got to be physically inclined mentally inclined and spiritually inclined GPT, Gorilla Power Train. It's empowerment through fitness and life motivation to help you encompass three aspects of who you are physically, mentally, and spiritually. You're only as strong as your weakest link inside yourself. So if you choose to put around yourself negatives, the law of polarity says this, everything has an exact and equal opposite. 
So if you choose to be around negative, pessimistic, cynic individuals that have nothing, they're not going anywhere, that's exactly what you're going to get in life. You're not going to get anything more than that because why? You're allowing fuel to the fire. You're, you're pouring fuel onto the fire. You're not doing anything more than you've already done, but complaining with the complainers. Now, if you bring them positive, optimistic, them motivated, them hungry, them driven, them people that have that desire to win type people around you, you might not have it right now, but you will. And remember, you're not broke. You're overcoming a financial difficulty. <laughs> Les Brown said that, man. It stayed with me. It stayed with me. So put around you what you want in life. And that goes for relationships as well. If you feel as though you can't, you're not able to find someone that can accommodate you, oh, he, she or he has a great personality, but they don't have the things or they don't have to drive to move yourself forward. But maybe I could just do Don't dumb yourself down. If somebody doesn't have the qualifications that you need to drive yourself forward in life, do not settle for less in any shape, form, or fashion of who you are just because you can't, you're not able to find what you want or what you need or what you need to accommodate you in life. Whatever's meant for you is meant for you. Don't force it. Let it come in its time. Everything has its time. Do not rush things. Let things happen. And along that path, greater things will happen. Don't make things happen that are not supposed to happen. Because when you do that, you miss that opportunity. You miss that window that opened, that door that opened. And you find doors that are closed opening them yourself, thinking that's the door to go into. And it's not. You find out that later on in life, you should have never walked in that door. So remember, stay positive. Stay enthusiastic. Stay optimistic. Stay powerful. Wake up every morning with a clear mind, with ambition, with hunger, being driven, with your vision. And remember, your vision is your mission. Go through the day powerful. Don't let anybody tell you anything less. If you go through your day knowing that your vision is your mission, understanding that, continually reminding yourself, you'll be powerful beyond measure. And remember this. It's not how you woke up that's going to dictate the outcome of your day. It's how you went to bed. Did you go to bed fulfilled, positive, enthusiastic, desirable, accomplished? Did you go to bed thinking about what your goals were? Did you go to bed thinking about how you're going to wake up tomorrow to succeed on another level? What did you, or did you go to bed pissed off, mad, angry, obnoxious, cynical, pessimistic, uncomfortable, unhappy, insecure? Remember, your mindset has to be, you have to control your mindset. You will wake up the same way you went to bed. Scripture says all this. So, when God created man and woman, he said, be blessed, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. That means take by force. In Timothy, 2 Timothy 1.7, he says, uh, God didn't give us the spirit of being timid. But he gave us the spirit of love, power, love, and self-discipline. Not of being timid, insecure, abrasive, and scared. He didn't do that, man. <laughs> he gave us the strength of uh, he gave us the, the spirit of power, security, strength, understanding. Know who you are. Know what you do. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. Revelations 21 says, I believe 21 22 says, The cowardly, the immoral, adulterers will have their lake, will have their place in the lake of fire. But who leads that list? The cowardly, because you didn't put the faith in him in yourself, in your mindset, in your capa your physical capacity. You didn't give yourself that. You doubted yourself the whole way. And God told you not to do that. It's as simple as that. In Proverbs it says, a man's gift will make a way for him. It says this as well. A man without vision will perish. You gotta have a vision or you're not gonna go anywhere. Your vision gives you direction. Your direction Gives you discipline and consistency. But understand this. Uh, Denzel Washington said this one day and it stayed with me. Don't confuse movement with progress. Just because you're doing a lot doesn't mean you're getting a lot done. So think about that. Proverbs also says, um, these are all laws of the land. Like laws of millionaires and billionaires live by these laws. Because they understand the worth of these laws. The wisest king that ever lived wrote them Solomon. He says, uh, do you see a man skilled in his craft? 
It will bring him before kings and not mere men. Be wise, man. Be wise, be understanding, be knowledgeable. Do not chase success. Create value within yourself and success will follow. Do I need to elaborate on this anymore? I don't care what your background is, where you come from, what your gender is, what you're into, what your religious thoughts is, what your political views are. I care about none of that. None of that matters. As long as you have the mindset, control your mind. Your mind, honestly, it's not about the people, places, and things in this world. Your mind is your biggest adversary you have. You control your mind, you control your world. The law of attraction is this. Conceive and believe and you will receive. Right? If you have faith, small as a mustard seed. A mustard seed is the smallest among vegetation seeds. All you need is that amount of faith to move mountains. Now, he was figuratively speaking, saying, you can do anything. Just believe and don't doubt. Don't doubt. No, it can happen. I know it can happen. It happened to me. I'm from Philly. Grew up in Philly, the Badlands, no man's land. You survived past a certain age, you made it. But what did you do with that? Did you get outside of that? Did you get outside the box? I was scared to leave Philly for a long time because I didn't know anything else but Philly. But I ran them streets hard, stomping that yard. Did it hard. Badlands. Look it up. One of the roughest places in, in the U.S. You know, you got Chicago, New York, Philly. Um, but I made a way. I made a choice. I said, I got to make a change. I got uncomfortable and left. So I found a way out here. I went to personal training school. Wrote down a goal 15 months ago. I said, I'm going to personal training school. I'm going to barbering school. All the barbers in my family. My mom had a salon. Cousins had a barbershop. Brother had a shop. I was the only one that didn't want to do barbering, but I did it because my vision, my mission is part of my vision. Barbering is part of my vision to be the world's greatest motivational leader there ever was and will be. I know I am powerful beyond measure, but I am humble about that. God gave me something. He gave me the will and desire to do something, to be something more, to go places most haven't went, to do things most haven't done. And I refuse to settle for anything less than I know what my worth is. Well, I hope everybody got this message. And um, I got a massive message to spit out later on down the line. I got to go back to Philly, settle up some things. But until... I get through with the NSA, National Speakers Association, and put myself on that platform and help the world know what their worth is, what their gift is, what their strengths are, and how phenomenal they can be. People, we have something inside us. The Almighty gave us a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. If you don't know what that means, then apparently you need to find somebody to help you figure that out. Stop dumbing yourself down. Stop worrying about what people think. If they're not meant to be around you, they're not meant to be around you. Do not live your life on other people's opinions. Do not place value, your value, on other people's opinions. You're much more valuable than that. More valuable than you can ever understand. So there's a treasure out there that belongs to you. Go out there and search for it. Go out there and find it. Find what your worth is. And then when you find it, be relentless. Dominate relentlessly. And become a dominating contender. Everybody have a great day. Be blessed. GPT 360, I'm out.